What's up YouTube, my name is Phantom and welcome to Madden Madness. This is the tournament that gives every team a chance. If you haven't watched, here is the bracket so far. Today we have the Chargers taking on the Chiefs. The winner will move on and the loser will go home. We're at a neutral stadium at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. Who do you think will win? Comment below, like the video, and subscribe for more. Without further ado, let's get this thing underway. The Chiefs are going to kick it away, so that means they will have the ball at the start of the second half. Caught, returned, not quite to the 25, down at the 23-yard line. And we're going to get ready for the first offensive drive of the game, led by quarterback Phillip Rivers. Pretty good season. Would like to see a little bit less of the interceptions, but... The touchdown total is not bad at all. They're going to break huddle. They're going to come out with a bunch right and a single back. Phillips or Phillip will throw to Gates, tight end Gates. It's going to be just short of the first down. Second and inch is coming up. That's a pretty good first way, first play to start this game. Now you got second and short, and really you could do anything. You could pass, you can run, you can do a play action fake. The playbook, the playbook is wide open. Rivers will come out under center, gives it to Gordon. They're just going to run it for a first, just enough for a first down. And Mel Melvin Gordon was one of the better backs of the year. Coming out in a balanced formation. McGrath will come in motion. Rivers will hand it off to Gordon, who's blown up in the backfield. Loss of one or two yards. It's going to be second and 11 coming up. So after having a second and in inches, now you got a second and 11 to deal with. Kansas City last year had a pretty rough defense, but that was mostly because they lost Eric Berry in the first game against New England, but he's back for this one. And we'll see how much he changes this defense. Gordon is going to run wide. He's got, he's got space. Good run, good gain. Brings it to the 45 there into Kansas City territory. Andy Reid's not pleased, but he called the play. He called the blitz. If he can get around that blitz, it's a wide open field. An excellent play call by Anthony Lynn. Rivers in a balance set. He's going to throw. He's got all day to throw. He throws deep. Oh, that would have been a touchdown, but instead he drops it.
Here comes the, this is the Chargers offense. Russell Okung, who's jumped around a little bit. He spent some time with Denver last year, and before that he was forced, he played for Seattle. Rivers is going to throw again. McGrath caught. Short ish gain. It's going to be about a third and five. And here is the Chiefs defense. Justin Houston, Tamba Ali. Third and six coming up. This is their first third down of the game. Let's see what kind of tone they can set. They're coming out in a run heavy offense. Gates had it for a second, but he dropped it. Fourth and six, they will punt. That's a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Out comes Alex Smith. Ready to do some work. He was technically traded to the Redskins, but it's not official yet at the time of this recording. So he will play. And they're going to come out in a running formation. Smith stepping back to throw. Hits Kelsey over the middle for a first down. 17-yard pickup to the 37. First and 10 once again. And that's what they've done all season long. Kelsey's been huge for this offense. You can totally see when they lost uh, in the playoffs after having about... I want to say a 21 to 3 lead. Kelsey got hurt, he went out, and Chiefs and the Chiefs didn't score again for the rest of the game and ultimately lost to the Tennessee Titans. They're going to come out in a running formation once again. Smith will run. He's going to run and he slides down a bit prematurely at the 40-yard line. And people forget this about the Chiefs, especially in Alex Smith. Smith will run if he gets the chance. He has the look of a pocket quarterback, but he he will run. He did have a massive run this year, somewhere around maybe the 80, 70 to 80 range, 60 yards, something like that. Smith's going to actually hand it off to Hunt. And gain of only one. He was in the run for Rookie of the Year. Fell off in the middle, but anyways, they're playing the Chargers defense, Joey Bosa. And the Chargers defense has taken a big step forward this year. Third and six coming up for the Chiefs. This will be their first third down attempt of the game. We'll see if they can set the tone and do what the Chiefs could not, or what the Chargers could not. Smith's going to throw again, and he missed him. His, well, it was partly he missed him, but also the receiver didn't get his head turned around in time and couldn't locate the football. So now it's going to be 4th and 6. 
and they're going to punt. So a defensive game so far. But both these teams have a have the ability to break out big points. We'll see what Dustin Colquitt can do with this punt. Perfect kick. It's going to drop at the four, and the Chargers will start inside their own five-yard line. Excellent punt. It looked like it was going to bounce in the end zone. They usually do, but the ball just refuses to bounce. Bear hardly bounces and just drops harmlessly. And the Chargers are now backed up deep. See what the Chargers can do to get out of the shadow of their own. Coming out in a running set. Chiefs will bring some extra pressure. Gordon running wide again. He's got a big lane. And game of 12. That happens a lot. You're either gonna get you're gonna get the blitz either way when you're starting inside your own goal, inside your own red zone. Usually inside your own five. You're trying because the defense is trying to get that safety. But the problem with blitzes is if you avoid the, that first layer of people, you're gonna have an open field, and that's what happened there. But Kansas City's rushing four, and Gordon gonna get the ball. He's got another big hole. He's lighting it up so far. Five rushes for 51 yards. He's on pace for a 200-yard day. And it starts with great blocking up front. We'll see if they can get another playoff before the end of the first quarter. Looks like they will not. And... That's going to bring us to the end of the first, 0-0. Zero, zero. It's a tie ball game here at Lincoln Financial. All right, we're back, 0-0. Zero, zero. Tied ball game. Start of the second quarter. The Chargers have the ball, and after starting inside their own five yard line, they're at the 33 after only a couple plays. All running, I should say. They're going to break huddle with about 20 seconds left on the play clock. Coming out in the balanced formation, Chiefs are sending extra pressure. Rivers going to hand it off away from the blitz, but it won't be enough. They'll only get one yard. And that, they, they just got overpowered right there with the pressure. Yep, they sent about six, I want to say. And it's just a simple halfback base. Those can't work every time. It's, the running's been working so well, you might might just want to treat that as an incompletion. If you throw an incomplete pass, you're going to pass it again, most likely. And the same thing will happen here. I think they're going to run it again. There comes Gordon. And now we start, we start to wonder if he should pass after that play gets blown up. A gain of only one once again. Third and eight coming up. Chargers. Are 0 for 1. This is their second attempt. Rivers. He's got all day. He can throw. 
There's a flag. And he throws it away after all that time. He had six, seven seconds on that. Usually when that happens, there and there's a flag. It's going to be on the offense. Yep. Holding on Matt Slauson, the left guard. It's going to be a third and 18 here. Oh, it's declined. Yeah, that's what I would do, actually. Good call by Andy Reid. Fourth and eight coming up. It's going to be a punt. So after two big plays, they ultimately stall at the 35. Drew Kayser, I believe that's his first name. And almost had a kick by Cole Quits, but it is not good enough. It has just a little bit too much on it, doesn't get the bounce, and it, it's going to take him out to the 20. Touchback. Here comes Smith, fresh off a, of, fresh off a, of, uh, what am I trying to say? Fresh off a, a good see his career best season actually, that made him one of the more higher sought QBs in the league. He's gonna lose his job to Patrick Mahomes, and it echoes a lot of what happened to him losing his job to Colin Kaepernick all those years ago, and he's sacked. The journeyman is sacked by Joey Bosa. Loss of 10. And that's what the Chargers can do. They got one of the best pass rush duos in the NFL. Yeah. He had three around him. The line just got beat on that play. And now Kansas City will start deep, will be deep in its territory. The Chargers have more yards, but the score is still 0 0. We'll see what the Chiefs can do here. They're going to throw. Kel it's got Kelsey. He's got Kelsey. First down. Big pickup. And that's what Kelsey can do. Chiefs are one of only a couple teams in the NFL that have game-changing tight ends like that. And when you have tight ends like that, it makes it's basically like having an extra wide receiver out there. Your play action's more effective. Anytime you want to throw the ball is more effective because you have more targets. And we're just under four and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Hunt. Oh, and he's got a big hole. 11 yards on the pickup. 15 yards and two rushes. Not bad. It's worth mentioning, and I'm sure you'll hear this for the rest of his life, but his very first carry in the NFL, it's a fumble. But that didn't stick around. Shook off those NFL nerves, those rookie nerves immediately and now he's a he's a second year bet here comes Hunt again up the gut game three so he's got almost six yards per carry on average gonna have a second and eight now if I'm Casey I'm gonna throw it now though he just had a bad run not a yeah it was you can classify it as a bad run. But it's not bad enough to make you... Okay, they're just going to hand it off to West. Trichander rest. West. Chiefs are going to face another third down. Only their second of the game. And they might not have... They might not get a playoff before the second... Or before the two-minute warning. And they won't. So we'll be back in just a second. And we're back. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. 
Chiefs are driving though. They're inside Los Angeles territory. We'll see what they can do here if they can get some points on the board at least before the half. They're coming out in the balance formation. Oh man. Now is this a false start? Who is this against? It's Melvin Ingram. Ouch. And that's what's going to happen when you have uh, one of the best pass rush duos in the NFL. That's what they do. They get off the ball quick. And sometimes they anticipate. That time they anticipated the wrongly and at the wrong time. The difference between really good and great for pass rushers is the ability to... Um, not give up those crucial penalties for first downs. That's what they do there. Smith, he's gonna scramble. He knows it's he knows he's got a lane and he's just gonna get what he can, gain a seven. Second and three coming up. Now they don't want to rush down and score too fast. Hunt's going in motion. Smith's going to run again. He's got a wide open lane. And he slides down at the 22. Smith's got three rushes for 19. He's giving Hunt a run for his money. can't throw the ball you might as well run it right I would expect that not to work again though clock is running just about a minute left in this first half bounce formation for Kansas City Hunt's gonna get in motion it looks like a very similar play they're gonna dump it off to Hunt Hunt slips a tackle but goes down ultimately after a gain of two, second and eight coming up. Kansas City takes a timeout. Zero zero still. We'll be back. And we're back. Anthony Lynn looks on from the sideline. Now what would be perfect for Kansas City is to be able to run it down and get a touchdown pretty much as soon as the clock hits double zeros, but you can't have everything you want in life. They're going to do a bunch set to the right, single coverage to the left. They're going to hand it off to Hunt up the gut. They're just going to try and keep milking the clock a little bit, but they do take the time out. They don't want to rush through this third down. Third and one coming up. And if LA can stop them here, then they can have a chance to score too. We could have a 3-3, or even a 7-7, I suppose, technically, at half in the last 42 seconds. Smith throws. He's got a first down for Kelsey. Kelsey steps out. It's a gain of only about three, but it's enough for the first down. 
Kelsey's got three receptions for 48 in this one. Doing what he does. I think that's going to stand. Bunch set on the left side, right side, single one on one. Smith, he's going to throw left to Kelsey again. Kelsey's going to dive for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Kansas City. Just a little dump off. Very similar play to what they ran before. But this time, Kelsey, instead of stepping out, takes a little dive just before the Chargers can get there. Extra point. Mahomes holds, and the kick is. Good. 7-0, Kansas City. Now, if I'm L.A., I'm going to call a play because something might break big. Big, You never know. You don't want to take the knee. If you, you want to give yourself at least 1% chance rather than 0. One's better than 0, right? So, and can, or the L.A. has three timeouts. So, honestly, they can get into field goal range if they really want to. They have a chance at least. But on the other side, you don't want to end up throwing an interception or turning the ball over on your own side. You don't want to let Kansas City double up like that before half. Chargers are going to run it out with Calvin Benjamin. Flips a tackle, doesn't slip out at the next one. 29 seconds left, he's down at the 23. And we're gonna have a first and 10. ISO formation. We're going to go on the third hut. Gordon's going to get a little bit, six yards on the carry, and we'll see if that's good enough for that LA. If they're content to go down 7 0 at the half. It appears that they are. Under 10 seconds. Yeah, they're going to take a knee. They, might, they probably won't even run another play. They will at least pretend that like they're gonna run it, but they won't. Zero to seven halftime. And we're gonna skip the halftime and get right into the third quarter. Alright, third quarter, zero to seven. Kansas City looks to be the ones getting the ball. Now they can double up here and be up 14-0 before LA gets the ball again. We'll see what they can do. They've scored one touchdown in this one so far. Smith to Kelsey. Kick is away. Caught in the end zone by Tyreek. And he's going to take the knee. Ball will come out to the 25. And Kansas City will get set for their first play of the second half. Get myself a little drink of water.
Smith fakes the handoff. Play action fake. He's going to wheel up the field. And he's going to take what he can get, another eight yards. So he's gotten eight yards twice on scrambles. Second and two coming up. And is where he's and that's where he's slid down. Seems at least that Hill thought he was open. Waiting for the ball. Couldn't really tell though from that angle. Smith is gonna come out under center. And he will hand it off to Hunt, who's got the first down, and a couple yards more. Gain of five to the 38. First and ten coming up. Some teams like to take the shot on second and short, but some teams also like to just get the first down and keep the clock running, especially when you have the lead. Although it is only one touchdown, Kansas City has blown leads before. It's not that big of a lead. Here comes Hunt. Hunt goes nowhere. Gains maybe a yard. We're going to read a second and nine coming up. Four receivers. Smith's going to throw to one of them. Hits Kelsey. That's not as good as the other catches, but it does bring up a third and five. Chiefs are one for three right now on third down. Trying to make it two for four. Smith steps up, dumps it off to Hunt, who's got the first down. That's a gain of about six, and it's going to move the chains. So that makes them two for four, 50%. Not bad. Chargers, if they give up, if it takes a long time for the Chiefs to get down the field and they score a touchdown, we could be looking at Chargers getting the ball maybe mid fourth quarter. Oh, Hunt's gone. Breaks through Hunt. And he's in for the touchdown. 51 yards. Oh, it's not Hunt, it's West. It's the backup runner. So one running touchdown and one receiving for the Chiefs today. That spin moves dirty. And that's what ultimately sprung him. Here comes the extra point. It's good. Score is 14 to 0. Now this feels a little bit like the Cardinals versus 49ers game. Actually, it feels very similar. Hopefully the Chargers can get something going a little bit earlier than the Cardinals, though. Too little, too late. Let's see what An if Anthony Lynn can lead, lead a comeback. They're only down two touchdowns. If they can get a touchdown here, they're right in this game. Kick is away. Benjamin carries it out. Fumble. Ball's down. It's picked up by Raglan. And he's got a touchdown. 
Wow. Not a household name, but he gets the job done. And that's when you just want to take the knee. Oh, yeah, that hit. Yep. So Benjamin's got his first turnover. And the Chargers will try this kickoff again and see if they can get it right. But first, they got an, the Chiefs have an extra point to add on. Now the Chargers should be pretty worried. They need to get three touchdowns just to tie, and they only have a quarter and a half to do it. Just under that. So after nearly a, two, uh, nearly a full half of no scores, we have 21 points in the last eight minutes or so of game time. No, the last five minutes or so of game time. All right. Let's see if they have Benjamin back there again. And they do. He's going to run it out again. Takes it out only to the 21. That's just killer. He is not doing a good job in the special teams, but I do admire the confidence they have in him. And that's one of the only bright spots for the Chargers so far in this one. Gordon's got 58 for eight, eight carries. Rivers going to fake the handoff. He's throwing it to Gates. Game of 12, first down. Chargers. Chargers need to score here pretty quick and they need a touchdown. And Gordon got a first down on the ground in a 12. They've had no problem getting those first couple first downs, but then the Chiefs get a get some rocks in their pockets and really just stay there and hold them back. Let's see if they can finally break through. Rivers, gonna take the snap. Hands it off immediately to Gordon. Gordon's got a small gain. Gain of three, second and seven coming up. Clock's gonna run though. You really need better plays than that. Down 21, heading into the fourth. Jumbo set, but Rivers will throw. McGrath coming up on a third down, third and three. And the Chargers absolutely should really want to convert this they are 0 4 2 this is their third attempt trying to go one for three here right, 
Rivers takes the snap. Scrambles a little bit. And then just takes the hit. That's the first sack of the game. And now it's going to be fourth down. We'll see what the Chargers do here. Oh, it was a late. Oh, that's the quarterback spy. They had a spy on him. And the quarterback spy is obviously the defensive or defensive player that just makes sure that the quarterback doesn't pick up the first down with his legs. We'll see if they punt here before the end of the third. And they will just get it off. Kick is high. And pins him. It's better than a touchback, just barely. 19 yards from the end zone. 0 to 21. Chiefs. And the Chiefs have the ball to start the fourth quarter. Starting from their own 19. The goal here for Kansas City is to not get too tight and end up going on a three and out. Hunt, there's a flag down. If it isn't against Kansas City, that's a gain of five or so. But it is a hold on Kansas City, so penalty will be accepted. And it will be a loss of 10. First and 20 coming up. And the Chargers, really, they got a break there because now they have a good chance to at least get a three and out. And if I'm the Chiefs here, I'm up three touchdowns. It's first and 20. I'm just going to try and run it three times. Maybe pop one, but just try not throw a or turn, just try not to turn the ball over. Another flag. So flags on black back to black back to back plays. And that's just about one of the worst things that could have happened right there face mask call it was a first and 20 now the Chiefs get a free 15 yards and that also erases the extra 10 yards that they would have had to go if you wouldn't have committed that penalty so really really bad penalty for the Chargers to take Smith's going to run it right. Halfback stretch with Hunt. Hunt's got space. He's got the first down and more. Takes it out to the 46. Kareem Hunt. He's had a good day today. And with that run, it seems more and more likely that the Chiefs are going to be the ones to make it to the next round where they will face either the Raiders or the Broncos depending on who wins in that matchup under six no minutes now to play and the Chiefs have a fresh set of downs Smith hands it to West, West has a hole too gain of four second and six coming up It looks like the Chiefs will run it here. Gain of just about three. Third and three coming up. 
And the Chiefs are two for four thus far, trying to make it three for five. They're at 50% right now, and they want to improve it. Hunt's going to run to the left, and he's going to get stopped behind the line. So the Chargers will see the ball again before the end of this one at least. At least once. The line just lost that one. Just about four minutes left to play in the fourth. And the Chiefs will punt. Dustin Cole quit. Just a little bit better than a touchback. It sails out of bounds at the 19, and that's where the Chargers will come out for their drive. The Chargers' biggest problem is they haven't been able to do anything on third down. They're 0 for 3 thus far. Balance formation for Rivers. He's in the shotgun with one more back. Almost gets a guy to go off sides. And the ball is dropped. Dropped by the hit. Caused by the defender. And we got a second and ten coming up. Rivers has one back behind him, three receivers. Rivers caught by Williams on the slant. And Williams is down at 35. First and 10 once again. They were going for the strip there. They already got one fumble, so they're trying for their second. I understand that thinking. But for the Chargers, it's looking pretty grim. You need it you need to score a touchdown per minute here to have any chance in this one. So you basically have to score in the next 56 seconds. Rivers. Gates. Possession catch. And he's down at the 40 yard line. Gain of four, second and six coming up. The third quarter really killed him. It was 0 0 out of the first, 0 0 for most of the second. But 21 points were given, were given up in the first half of the third quarter and the final two minutes of the second, second quarter. Look at that pancake. Benjamin catches it inbounds, stops the clock just before the two minute warning. And they're in a Kansas City territory. And this is where they've traditionally gotten stuck. And looks like the feet are in bounds. Drags the toe there. Yeah, so what would be ideal is they need to score on this play. <laughs> Oh, it looks like a neutral zone infraction. Neutral zone infraction defense. That should be a five yard pickup for the Chargers for the cost of zero seconds. So that's a good trade for the Chargers. First, first and five coming up.
Rivers is going to come out with three, three wide receivers. And he misses his target on the slant. Clock stops. Two minutes and three seconds left. Second and five now. Same formation as the previous play. Rivers will throw. And he can't get away. He's sacked. Taken down at the 46. And that's going to set up for a third and very long. Third and 14. Once we come back from the two minute warning break. Kansas City leads 21 zip. Get my water. Rivers taken down again. Another sack. Another loss of eight on that sack. It's fourth and 24 now. They're going to hurry back to the line and see if they can get at least a, something. Rivers rolling right. Throws. Hits his receiver, but it's dropped. The hit jarred it loose. And that's going to turn the ball over on downs. Chargers so far are 0 for 4 on third down. It's hard to sustain drives when you can't get a first down on third down. And we'll see what Kansas City does here. See if they can complete the shutout. Hunt's blown up in the backfield. We'll see if LA will take a timeout. It appears that they will not. It seems that they are conceding this loss. So, in light of that information, might as well count this as a win for the Kansas City Chiefs, who currently are going to be sitting in the upper left-hand corner. And looks like they will play the Raiders or the Broncos, depending on who wins that matchup. So back to the play. Smith throws it to Kelsey once again. That's a dagger combination right there in this one. Six receptions, 78, nine yards, and a touchdown. That's a, that's a 13.9 final or final fantasy. 13.9 uh, fantasy score. That's pretty good. I would take that. And honestly, that's what Kelsey does when he's on the field. He it, he seems to be like one of the main focal points, if not the main focal point of this offense. We'll see how Mahomes deals with deals with him next season, but for Smith, who hands it off to Hunt, and that's just going to be the end of that. Twenty-one zip is going to be the final. Ones up. Shutouts are really hard to do in the NFL, and there's one right there. And the Chargers put gave it shutout too last season against Denver, but they couldn't overcome the Chiefs then, and they can't overcome them now. It seems. Chargers finished the day with one turnover, picked up for a touchdown, or one fumble returned for a touchdown. 
um, given up, I should say. 0 for 4 on third down, zero touchdowns. While the Chiefs finished 2 for 5 on third down, one touchdown through the air, one on the ground. And here are some highlights. And looks like the Chargers will go home. They'll be the third team eliminated in Mad eliminated Mad Madness. The third of eight that will fall. And until we get to see the next one, my name is Phantom. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the game and you want to see what happens next. And 